We have done an analysis for where the bedrock is exposed in an area and what we're doing now we have the geologists go out and, and try to visit as many of these uh, exposed uh, pieces of bedrock and they are studying the lithology, looking at what types of rock are out there, the distributions of the rock and really looking at the fractures in a little bit more of a systematic way. We usually map in teams of three people, which are composed of a structural geologist, an engineering geologist, and a local guide. So the structural geologist will characterize the lithology, the character of the rock, any uh, fractures and faults. The engineering geologist will measure the rock hardness, its physical properties, the magnetic character of the rock, and the local guide will give us insights on what the traditional knowledge tells us about the rock. identifying the rock types and looking for structures that might identify uh, previous movement in the rock or areas that might point us towards more permeable zones in the rock with the ultimate goal of finding uh, a large intact block of rock. For a structural geologist the most important thing is the compass. This gives us the orientation of planar or linear features on a rock like such as a fault or a joint. The hand lens, I use it to characterize the minerals that compose the rock. With the hammer, I will uh, create a fresh rock surface for me to look at. Also, the hammer is used to characterize the rock hardness. We can enter a station with our iPads. Uh, we can see where we are on the actual um, aerial photograph of the, uh, of the area. We got um, a magnetic sus susceptibility machine, um, so that measures uh, basically the magnetic properties of the rock, so we're doing that at every outcrop. And we're also measuring the gamma spectrometry of the rock, which gives us um, the natural radiation coming off the rock. It's very important that uh, we understand from an Aboriginal and Métis perspective what is important to them about the, about the land that we're trying to investigate. We want to understand, in at least a general way, uh, and avoid uh, culturally sensitive areas that, that they might feel are sacred or important to them. It's, it's a learning experience for both. Like with our traditional knowledge of the area, the lakes, how they're all connected, you know, the, the spirit of the rock and the grandfathers and the, the trees, you know, we always make sure that we ensure that we, we place our tobacco offerings before we, knock, before we walk new areas of the land, you know, in case we're coming across uh, cultural sensitivity areas. You know, we're, we're learning from them, they learn from us, you know, and that's, it's a great way to start a partnership. What the guides bring to us is a, an immense respect for the land, which we really appreciate, and they look at the land in a different way. Um, and we're trying to blend the way we look at the rocks with how they look at the land.